Welcome, brothers. This is another episode of Black Men's Digest Television, and I'm your host, J. Anthony Smith. Today, we're going to talk about the topic of entrepreneurship, or better yet, how to be your own boss. Now, when we were growing up, our parents used to tell us that the best way to success was to go to school, college, and that would help lead you to a good job. Well, we can't fault them for that type of advice because that's all that they knew. But nowadays, things have changed, and black men are branching out to new opportunities, breaking the mold, and becoming their own bosses. And that's what leads us here today to Mach 1 Motors, a successful auto dealership, and our guest today, the owner, Lewis McClinton. He's going to talk to us about what brought him to this point, what motivated him, and to give some great tips to some aspiring entrepreneurs. So thanks for joining us today, Lewis. No problem. All right. So we just have a few quick questions for you. Um, the first is, how did you get started in this business? Um, I started in the auto industry when I was uh, 18 years old. I started off as a porter while I was in college. So I needed a job, needed something to do, and I've been in the auto industry ever since. Wow, awesome. That is good. Okay, so what motivates you? What keeps you going? Um, the, the forward progress keeps me going. I want to have a company. I want to start something that I can leave to my children, something that they can grow with, and as the company grows, they can run it one day. It's just leaving something behind, my, my, my carbon footprint, as you can say. All right, well, great. So how did you overcome the doubters? I'm pretty sure there were some doubters when you told people that you wanted to start your own auto dealership. Um, faith. That's, that's how you overcome everything. Um, we basically I had an idea. We've been planning this for years. And it finally got to the point where I watched other companies grow, watched other people do things. And I was a part of a lot of successful organizations. My hard work got them to become one of the, some of the top dealers in the, in the Metroplex. So I figured if I take that same energy, that same drive, that same uh, understanding to get up out of my bed every day to go work for someone else and implement that in my own business, I figured I would be successful just the same. That is great advice, great advice. So. I guess that kind of piggybacks into the next question. What do you think it takes to be successful as an entrepreneur? Um, it takes, the key thing is faith first, God first, but the ability to get up every day knowing that you're going to give whatever you're doing your all. Uh, planning your days out, planning your months out, planning your year out. Everything has to be a plan. If you plan it and then you do everything you can to execute that plan, you have a, a great chance of success, but it starts with a plan and a drive to get out there and execute it. Okay. So wh what do you say to those people that may say, well, you know, I don't, I don't have the money to do it. You know, I got an idea, but I don't know how to execute it. Who did you go to as a mentor to help you get to this point? That's great advice. Um, that's, that's a great question. And, and the best advice to have is it starts with that plan. Um, Everything we do has to have a plan associated with it. It took me two years to write my business plan and probably over 15 revisions throughout that process. Um, and research, research what you're doing, what kind of company, whether it's a moving company, whether it's a, a gardening company, whether it's a million dollar company. Do all of the research, see what's out there because there are tons of resources that could be available to you, but you have to do the proper planning to get the desired result. And that's where it starts. And it starts with a good business plan. All right. So if there was one thing that you could do differently about your journey to this point, what would you say that would be? Um, nothing. Nothing. I figure um, that everything that we do is God's plan. Everything we go through is God's plan. No matter how you do it, it's there for a reason. Every hiccup I've gone through, it was to learn something. And I tell anybody that if you're going through something, don't feel bad about what you're going through because that's a test. That's something that's building on something that can happen in the future. And everything that we've I've gone through, the ups, the downs, the doubters, the no's, I just kept pushing through it because anything you want to go do, everybody's not going to be on board. You're going to get some no's along the way, but it's keep looking until you can find a few yeses. Well, that's great. So there you have it. The best way to be an entrepreneur is to have faith, have a plan, don't be willing to give up, do the best that you can, and don't take anything for granted. So again, thanks Lewis for his insight, and be sure to also reach out on the web to his website at Mach1MotorsDFW.com, and there will be many great resources to help you reach the best potential that you can. So this is our episode for today, and be sure to look back next week when we have some great new information for you as well. So again, in parting, love God, love yourself first, and we'll see you again at Black Men's Digest.